had a chance to talk to one of the pilots that escaped back here, so I took it. Apparently, two of our planes took the enemy on alone. They covered the Allies so they could retreat. The hell kind of idiot does a thing like that? The last pilot to land back at the base was that scrawny anarchist dude. He always had this dumb grin on his face, like he didn't give a damn about whatever he did to get thrown in here with the rest of us. Was he the one who went gung-ho? I bought him a drink later. After the usual small talk, I turned the topic around to the mission. For an anarchist, he struck me as a bit weird. Nothing like what I expected. He talked a mile a minute and kept going on and on about library books. Not encyclopedias, those cheesy adventure novels you read in high school. Nothing against those. I like a good story myself once in a while. But I wasn't here to talk books. Uh, I remember that day well. Amidst the swirling clouds, a fighter squadron was trying to help its allies reach safety. He's pretty foolish, isn't he? I thought so too. Suddenly, a highly skilled enemy fighter squadron appeared and began picking them off at the edges. One by one, they fell right out of the sky. Although, I guess there was nobody around that was even more foolish to go to their aid then. So you simply watch things unfold from a distance. Yeah. I mean, who would have ever thought that I'd just go and follow them straight into the enemy squadron like that? After what felt like decades, I finally got to the info I was looking for. He wasn't the guy. He said he was just following his wingman's lead and managed not to die somehow. The hero on this mission was the new guy. The one that killed Harling. <laughs> How did you feel? I'm still kind of shaken up, actually. But you know, I do feel a certain sense of pride, too. He really is foolish, isn't he? Yep, he sure is. I went to the hangar to have myself a closer look at Trigger's plane. I knew that burnt smell. That's what happens when an engine's been driven to its limit. This pilot was a hot dog. From now on, I was gonna keep my eye on this idiot. From a distance, though. I didn't want to get too tight with someone who was a better pilot than my dad. Even so, I decided to give this guy's plane a little bit of the old Avril magic touch. He needed all the help he could get. The champ went down crying like a baby. I knew he was all bark and no bite. <laughs> the coward. You don't want to talk, running off with your tail between your legs. I wasn't running away, I was retreating. Well, I can't say I blame you. It was hell out there. Man, I'm not in the mood for this shit today. I'm gonna blow stuff up to let off steam. Target in sight. I see a lot of oil tanks. Okay, Boats, all warships. There's plenty of buildings, too. Destroy everything in sight. I appreciate the simplicity of the operation. They don't look like military. You think you look anything like military? Damn! That's what I call fireworks! <laughs> yeah! I've got more bad news. The Megastorm in Nessa 2 that formed a few days ago is approaching our AO. No time to smell the roses then. A fighter power guys to fight. Missions like this are too easy. Another one popped. Take this. Burn, bitches! Are you guys all nuts? I thought at least one of you was dead. Oil tank! Shit! There's no way we can extinguish it! 
Nessa 2 entering AO in three minutes. Shit, we're out of time.
Quit yapping and hunt down your targets. You might as well get your last rights now. Exactly, that was all dumb luck. Wait, you were in your shot count? Must have been straining to hear from high altitude. Seems you've learned nothing in the sky, Count. Well, yeah, it's not like there's anything I can learn from Trigger. 